Hey everybody, happy uh, Friday. Happy after Christmas and before New Year's. Um, it is a chilly 52 degrees here in um, San Diego and um, I was forced to put on a jacket today. Kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry about that. For all you guys that are in like snow and freezing and stuff, I apologize. Not too much, but I apologize. Um, I had a, a fairly busy day yesterday at work. It's kind of get back into the rigmarole of life. I'm heading to the gym. Um, haven't been there in a couple of days. And uh, it's just a, a beautiful sunny day here. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm a little, um, a little antsy today. Uh, I, I've been kind of, well, okay, let me back up. So I met this gentleman online through one of my apps that I have, and I've been corresponding with him for several months now. And, uh, I really want to meet him. I really want to see him. I'm kind of falling for him. Um, and I, I know it's kind of weird doing that. Just, uh, you know, we've talked on Skype and we talk every day. We text every day, actually. Um, the thing is, is he lives in Mexico. And um, it's frustrating. You know, I feel as if I'm ready for that relationship. Um, and that I deserve my relationship. That I... Um, that is right for me and I meet these guys that are just really unavailable either they're married with partners or they don't live in my city which is frustrating um, or they're into drugs and alcohol and all three of those the drugs and alcohol deal breaker I don't put up with that not at all but the whole living in a different city, that's thats really frustratingly hard because um, as much as I, I mean, I would love to find somebody that, um, that lives here in San Diego, but I'm finding that it's, it's really difficult. Uh, the guys that I'm attracted to aren't living in this city. Or I haven't found them, and it's, it, it is really, really frustrating. I feel as if uh, sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy, and I feel like I will never find that relationship, that right person. Everywhere around me, people are finding people are finding love. They're finding their their person. Um, and before, you know, I my um, pattern would be to jump in bed with the first person who showed me interest or showed me, you know, like they were. And, um, and it's gotten me into some relationships that I just didn't want to be in. Um, or at least that weren't right, that didn't fit right with me. And, you know, so I basically settled and um, I just don't want to do that anymore, but it's, it's really frustrating. Um, makes me a little sad. You know, I, th I think I have some things to bring to the table today. Uh, yeah, very much so. Uh, a few years ago, I, I, I couldn't say the same thing. I couldn't say that I had much to bring to the table other than needing to be rescued or needing to, you know, um, I don't know, multiple reasons. Um, but I feel like right now I do. I have some really great attributes to bring to the table. I have a nice job. Um, I have vehicles. I have... You know, an apartment. Um, my life is pretty steady, uh, and I'm, you know, I pray to God that that He brings that person in, into my life, um, and the person that I want. You know, because sometimes God brings people in our lives for a reason, and, and they're not our first choice. Um, I really want to have that first choice. So today, um, I'm struggling a little bit with. Um, really wanting to have that that right person in my life so um, the whole thing about the the Alejandro in Mexico he lives in Mexico he's a geriatric doctor in Mexico um, it doesn't really help me here and I'm really kind of I'm kind of jonesing this morning for um, 
for his company and to meet him and to hang out with him and to um, get to know him more. Because uh, I pick him, but uh, and I think he picks me, but we're just uh, we're so far away. So um, I'm after my car's paid off, uh, which uh, got my car fixed. I have a 1999 Saab that after I bought it, it just went kaput. Um, I bought it for $1,300 or $1,800 and I put $3,500 in it. <laughs> Crazy. But I get it back on Monday. I'm excited about that. Um, once I get that paid off, then I can start saving up for maybe a trip to Mexico because it's pretty expensive. And um, I want to find true love. I think I'm ready. Um, and my heart aches for that. And I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> I just turned 47 uh, this last November. And... Um, you know, my, my, I hate to say it, but it's funny, my biological clock is ticking. I don't want to be one of these old spinster guys that, um, oh yeah, he never married. <laughs> you know, um, but I, I also don't want to settle either. So, um, if you guys would my, not mind doing me a favor, it seems like you guys' prayers work pretty well, uh, because my mom... I mean, my grandmother came out of the hospital with flying colors. She's back home. She's awesome. Um, she has a pacemaker in. She's amazing. Um, uh, seems like you guys' prayers work. So if you guys could just say a little prayer that um, Lauren finds love and, and the right, his right person. Um, uh, I guess, you know, also it's kind of hard um, through the holidays too, walking through, going through the holidays alone. Um, and uh, I did spend uh, Christmas with my ex, uh, really wonderful man. Um, and I'll spend Christmas, I mean, New Year's Eve with uh, two of my wonderful buddies, or I call them my daddies, uh, from Los Angeles. They're going to come down and spend the night and we'll hang out. Um, but it's, it's not the same, you know what I mean? Um, so... Give me a prayer. Send us some prayers out there. Um, you know, also, please, like I said, be careful this holiday season, especially New Year's. It's going to be crazy. People are, we're coming into 2015. Woohoo! Um, it's going to be a little crazy, so please be careful. Wear your seatbelts. Don't drink. If you do, please, please call Uber, uh, call a taxi. Uh, just don't drink, drink and drive. I've lost too many friends to, um, uh, to drunk drivers and to being drunk and driving. Um, so love you guys. And, um, I cherish every single one of you guys. Um, ciao bellas.